Southern Utah is a super different place. I mean, I've traveled all over the world and I still have yet to find a place like this. I'm Ethan now, 20 years old, out of Southern Utah. And I ride bikes and moto in the hills, free ride. The hills here are incredible. You can go out anywhere, bring some water, and you can build any type of feature you want for a dirt bike or a mountain bike. Ridge lines really steep and exposed, lots of big cliffs, lots of room to build big jumps and stuff. So it's, I love it here. It's like perfect free ride terrain. <laughs> big jumps is what I like to ride. And riding big jumps on the on the dirt bike, it crosses over straight away to, to mountain bike. I'm able to ride big jumps on the mountain bike and be a lot less scared. Lots of mono, riding lots of dirt bikes, riding bicycles kind of as an outlet for fun, and Rampage is close, so I was like, I'd go to that every year, and it was the coolest thing ever. I ducked for Andreu, and at that point I wasn't, like I didn't ride that much mountain bikes, and then I was like, I'm gonna start riding a bit and like see where this goes. But then, but at the same time, when you're at that level and you see on, on game day and there's helicopters in the air, there's news crews, it's like, that's a lot of pressure. Can't even comprehend it. He ended up winning, and I was so immersed in the sport at that point. I was in. I was like, this is sick. Like, this is what I want to do. Then the next year after I dug for Andreu, I didn't get in, which is a good thing. I kind of learned the ropes of Rampage and all that stuff, and I started riding the Fest series, and I hit all those stops and proved myself on a downhill bike. Just kind of got my name out there that, like, I'm a free ride guy. Like, I want to do this event. This is my event. Coming into this rampage, I rode for YT, which has been, I've been with them for a year or two. So I, I had a few sponsors for sure coming into it, but afterward it kind of hit the fan. The first day of digging, you go up there and everyone gets to scout their line and kind of figure out where you want to go. Going into the build week, you kind of have like an idea of what you want to build and how you want to trick down the mountain. Like you build your line playing to your strengths. That whole two weeks, I'd play exactly how I was gonna ride that line on, on game day. So the night before Rampage, I was stressing hard. I put my best friends through a lot of work through a week and a half of digging our asses off. So I wanted to prove everyone, you know, that I could do it. So it's just like a long night of just no sleep, cold sweats, just stressing. And then early morning, we get up to the site and it's dark, padding up, it's like, focus, like, don't talk to me. I've got headphones in, like, this is my ship. It was my first rampage. I want to get a run to the bottom. And I did that, and like, it was the best feeling ever to get a run top to bottom, like, first rampage. I was stoked. In the morning of finals day, I rode that step down probably 15 times, just trying to figure it out. I want to spin this thing, for sure. And at the top of my second run, I still didn't know if I could do it. Like, I couldn't visualize it in my head, and usually that's a big thing for me. So I was like, I got nothing to lose. I might as well send it. Rider three, Ethan Nell. 20 year old youngest competitor. His first run seems so flawless. I'm not sure what he has planned, how he's gonna find some extra points out on this hillside. I'd been losing sleep over that spin on the, on the ridge line for weeks. It's really exposed on both sides of the landing. Like, if you mess up, the wind catches you, you're hurting. Top did not expect to see that. That features technical and linking it into the step down flip. So he did have some secrets. And I sued the, the lily pad drop and it all worked out. Oh, suicide oh, by Hander what? on his lily pad. So technical. Tons of speed and fluidity leading into this final jump in his run. There's that flat spin again. Oh, landing deep, but holding on. Feet on the pedal, 
is still Ethan Nell getting rowdy. Huge too far on the last jump, but I wrote it out. That's been, I've never had a better feeling in my life. I want that podium spot again, and I want the number one spot. I know I can go in there and build exactly what I want, and do what I want, and I want to win it now. Like, that's all there is.